Now, as countries around the world chalk out strategies for an inoculation program against COVID-19, Malaysia has said that the halal issue won't affect the vaccine rollout. Other than the concern about safety and efficacy of the COVID-19 vaccine, questions have also been raised in Malaysia over its halal status. Concerns surfaced as Malaysia has signed deals with different manufacturers, including from China, to procure shipments. For instance, Malaysia has signed a deal with Pfizer to procure 12.8 million doses of the vaccine. Malaysia's National Council for Islamic Affairs held a meeting to discuss whether the vaccine would be administered to Muslims. Muslims account for over 60% of the Malaysian population. The country's religious affairs minister last week said that the decision would be announced after it has been presented to the king who oversees the religious matters. This can be a sensitive issue in Malaysia, which has in the past raised tensions. Malaysian pharma giant Pharma Neaga has said it is planning to build the world's first halal vaccine facility by 2022. The Southeast Asian country has also inked a deal with Pfizer in November to supply 12.8 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine for 20% of the population. It has also entered a pact with COVAX facility to cover another 10% of the population. Malaysia has recorded over 75,000 cases. Over 390 people have died in the country due to the coronavirus. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.